Hey, it's Aaron Laurie. You know, we've been living a geographically irresponsible lifestyle for going on 12 years now. And so we've been to a lot of places that offer pretty decent snorkeling. In today's video, we're gonna share with you the five best places in the world to snorkel that we've been to. Welcome to our channel, Plan Free. We're Aaron Laurie Miller. Yeah, this is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle through the lens of slow travel. Today, we're going to talk about the best snorkeling locations that we've experienced. So, you might have a different list, but keep in mind these are the places that we've actually snorkeled in and experienced, and we're going to share them with you today. Let's start in the beautiful country of Mexico. In Baja California Sur, in the Sea of Cortez, there's a place called Cabo Pumo, which is a marine reserve. It's a little bit tough to get to, a little bit of driving on some rough roads, but it's totally worth it. Once you get out into the water, you're going to experience a vibrant reef that's full of coral and a multitude of fish and other marine species. Now, Mexico is obviously a huge country, and they also have a whole nother coastline on the Caribbean side. So there's certainly other excellent spots to snorkel in this country. We've heard very good things about Cozumel. If anyone out there watching this video has experienced snorkeling on the Caribbean side of Mexico and has some things in the comments they'd like to add that were very positive, go ahead and do so. We'd love to hear from you. On to the next spot that we've snorkeled in, and that would have to be the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Yeah, Queensland, Australia. Mm -hmm. Now this was an expansive area yeah. of an amazingly diversified coral reef, and it was just covered in different species of corals, mm. all vibrant and lively, numerous different kinds of fish of all different sizes, octopus. There was lots of very interesting things to look at. The water was very clear as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of colors in the coral. Mm -hmm. This will not disappoint you as a location to do some snorkeling. Roatan, Honduras. Now, this is a very unique spot that we had the good pleasure of being able to live in for, what, almost three months there? Mm -hmm. And um, the, the thing that was made this spot so unique is that you could step off almost any point of the island with your flippers on, give it about 10 strokes and you're at the drop off of, you know, much like the uh, Great Barrier Reef, this was an extremely healthy, vibrant reef with a large diversity, a myriad of different corals, different aquatic life, fish, eels, yeah. lots of cool things. We were spending many hours, many days per week in the water, um, free diving this location. In fact, we became interested in practicing holding our breath, see how long we could hold our breath in the pool at the place <laughs> that we were living. Funny thing is when you translate that into the ocean, you're able to hold your breath a whole lot less long than you could in the pool. But we were getting pretty good at it. Specifically, Lori was excelling. She was half mermaid by the time we were done living there. So Roatan, Honduras is definitely an excellent location for snorkeling that we can encourage you to check out. La Paz, Baja California Sur in Mexico is another spot that's definitely worth talking about as far as our top snorkeling locations. And this is purely because of the ability, or at least at the time that we did it, the ability to swim with and very near whale sharks. This is a life-changing experience that you won't forget anytime soon. In fact, it's been several years since we've done this and I can still remember it like it's yesterday. You know, we would jump into the water when the guide said to, you'd swim towards this creature as fast as you could. You couldn't really see it because the, the water was slightly murky. And then that moment in time happens when the, when the whale shark comes into view and it's literally the size of a school bus and you think you're mentally prepared for it and you're not. So it goes like this, you're swimming, 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 you see the whale shark and you're like, oh my God, this thing is massive. And just to be able to swim near something that gargantuan was a memorable we'll experience. We'll never forget it. No. Yeah. And so I'm not sure if that ability still is available in that area of the world, but there's other areas that you can still do that. We had the good fortune of befriending a local who took us out in his boat and uh, we were able to have just an awesome, 
time swimming with the whale sharks in La Paz. A very intimate experience that we'll never forget, so we really recommend that location for snorkeling. Mm -hmm. And I would say our number one favorite place in the world to snorkel that we've been to is in the Komodo Islands National Park in Indonesia. And the reason why this spot is so memorable and makes our top list is because the ability to swim very, very near and with manta rays. Experiencing swimming with these rays that have a wingspan of, I don't know what it was, eight oh, to no. 10 feet, it was, they're huge. They're huge. like a swimming pool table. Like they're just gigantic and graceful. And, yep. and it was, um, an amazing experience swimming in very clear water. Of course, there were some sharks around too, so if you're into that, that was pretty cool, but they were fairly small. And uh, Lori, you know, she, she intimidated most of them, so it was no problem. But to be able to swim with manta rays in Indonesia was mm -hmm. an unforgettable experience and one that we can highly encourage you to go ahead and experience. Mm -hmm. And the reason our Indonesia Komodo Islands takes maybe the spot number one is because not only did we have the giant manta rays face to face swimming with them, but then you also had all the fish, sharks, mm. eels, and all the coral. Mm -hmm. our, our experience at that time was that we experienced all of the things that you want to see in a snorkeling experience all at once in the Komodo Islands, Indonesia. That's right. We saw so many turtles uh, when we were in that area of the world that we forgot to even talk about it. So you're there's turtles everywhere that you're able to swim with. So what kind of international locations would be on a bucket list to snorkel for a couple like Lori and I that have lived for six months a year in international locations for the last 12 years? And we've snorkeled a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll list a few locations for you really quickly. One would be the Galapagos Island areas of Ecuador. We mm -hmm. hear that the wildlife is just off the charts there and we're looking forward to experiencing it. Mm -hmm. Another one for me would be Raja Ampat. I don't know about the pronunciation, hopefully I didn't brutalize that, in Indonesia, where we've heard it's probably one of the most unspoiled, diverse, underwater wildlife areas in the world. And we would certainly love to experience that. Yes, hopefully we can get there one day soon. Mm -hmm. Philippines comes to mind for me and the Maldives probably in, in that area. Oh uh, yeah, mm -hmm. And lastly, for me, I would love to experience an area like um, French Polynesia, Bora Bora, Fiji, that sort of area. I think there'd probably be some excellent snorkeling there and would love to take that in. Mm -hmm. If you out there have some areas that uh, you have experienced excellent snorkeling in that you'd like to add into the comments, we'd love to hear from you. We encourage you to watch this video next my name's Air. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free. If you like the video, click the like button. It's free, it takes a second, helps a lot. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more of our videos and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. Thanks for watching and making it to this point. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye for now. Thanks everyone.